So far we have discussed various types of properties and various results involving those properties. So let us do a quick recap. We have discussed iterated elimination of dominated strategies in order to find some equilibrium of the game. Then we have talked about preservation of equilibrium when we do this kind of iterated elimination. Uh, we have defined the stability notion by uh, pure strategy Nash equilibrium and security notion by min max uh, uh, max min strategies. And we have shown that these two properties, these two notions, coincide in the in the case of uh, this special game called the matrix games. And then we have also looked at uh, certain kind of games where pure strategies may not exist. Pure strategy with Nash equilibrium may not exist. And one such game is given in this uh, in this figure, uh, where we uh, cannot find a pure strategy Nash equilibrium. So that is one reason of uh, refining uh, the, uh, the equilibrium notion as we have done in the past when we could not find dominant strategy equilibrium we went for the pure strategy Nash equilibrium now it's time to weaken it even further and uh, therefore we, we might get uh, some other equilibrium strategy and also from a uh, from an application point of view uh, if you think about the the first example that we have given for uh, the neighboring kingdoms dilemma uh, you, you, uh, we have seen that uh, we, we just made an assumption uh, that the kingdoms can either invest entirely on agriculture or on warfare. That is, for, that was for simplicity. But in practice, uh, there are cases where the, the whole resource of a specific kingdom can be divided, maybe equally between these two actions, uh, agriculture and uh, warfare, or maybe one third and two third. How should we represent that in the form of a game? So to uh, denote that, uh, we now come to the world of mixed strategies. So as the name suggests, informally, uh, this is a probability distribution over the strategy, uh, strategies. So uh, instead of picking the strategies as pure, we are just mixing uh, them, them and we are doing this mixing in a probabilistic way. So in, this, uh, in the same example, we can say that uh, the uh, player one is mixing these two strategies L and R yeah, in this proportion two third and one third so with probability two third it will pick l and with probability one third it will pick r similarly the other player will pick this uh, uh, two strategies uh, with probability four five four by five and one by five all right so let us make uh, uh, our notation a little more uh, clear to uh, to formally represent all these things so suppose we have a finite set a uh, then we are going to define this delta of A uh, as, as the probability distributions on this set A. So what does that mean? So we have a vector. So P is a vector. So suppose A has, uh, has three elements. Let's say A1, A2, A3. Therefore, P will be nothing but uh, a, a vector of length 3. Each representing each of these uh, elements in A, and uh, they should sum to one. So let's say 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and uh, 0.5 and 0 uh, 0.3. So that that is one valid entry uh, in this uh, uh, in this set, uh, delta of A, uh, which is the set of all probability distributions over A. Now, what is a mixed strategy for player I? So sigma I. Uh, with which we are going to denote the mixed strategy of player i is a member of delta of si so si in this case is the uh, finite set and what we are going to say is that uh, the agent i is putting certain probabilities on all these strategies that is available to it and we are doing it in such a way that uh, the sum this is always non-negative and it, it sums to one a very simple uh, definition uh, and because we are discussing non-cooperative games that no player is actually uh, talking to each other and uh, sharing information before taking their decisions, uh, they choose their strategies independently and therefore the mixed strategies are also chosen independently. So all these probability distributions are actually independent of each other. So when we are talking about the joint probability distribution of uh, player 1 picking S1 and player 2 is picking S2, that is just given by the product of the individual marginals. 
similarly uh, these are all analogous definitions so when we are using the utility of a player i at a mixed strategy profile sigma i and sigma minus i and sigma i is nothing but uh, one element in that delta of uh, uh, capital si and similarly for all the other players if you um, uh, list out their strategies their mixed strategies that vector of mixed strategy profile except player i is denoted by sigma of minus i so this is the same notation as before so how do we define uh, how do we uh, write the utility of player i when the players are picking their mixed strategies uh, so what what it means is that we first look at the uh, utility at a, a pure strategy profile s1 to sn and multiply that uh, with the corresponding probability of picking that strategy profile so because these are all independent this will just be products and then you are going to sum over all possible strategies of all these players so therefore you are getting an expected uh, utility over all the strategy profiles where the expectation is taken with respect to this probability distribution uh, according to their mixed strategies so in this case we are just overloading this notation so uh, uh, utility of i uh, for the pure strategies is also denoted by ui and we are also denoting the same utility i uh, to denote the mixed strategies ideally it should have been different uh, we should have dif used different notations but because these are uh, two different contexts and from the context you will be able to figure that out so there is no need and in literature it is not uh, really distinguished but yeah so in this case we i have explicitly written the uh, the the whole utility expression just to make sure that it uh, uh, you understand this uh, the whole expression uh, how the uh, the utility at a mixed strategy is computed so said uh, as we mentioned before utility at a mixed strategy is the uh, is the expectation of the utilities at the pure strategies and so all the uh, rules of uh, all the uh, known uh, laws of expectation holds for instance linearity holds so the, we will make use of this uh, fact sometime later but uh, this is just for for an information so what is an example of a uh, mixed strategy and let me illustrate with uh, uh, with an example uh, what is the uh, the uh, the, ex the utility at a specific mixed strategy profile so let us look at the same example that we have uh, uh, shown before so the game is the penalty shootout game uh, but now the uh, players are not picking pure strategies but they are picking mixed strategies player one is picking uh, this two third and one third and player two is picking four fifth and one fifth so if you are looking at the utility of player one so we are only concerned about the, uh, the utilities of player one in different uh, strategy profiles we are first going to write down the utility so let's say the first utility here um, in the uh, for player one is minus one and we are going to multiply that with the uh, probability of occurrence of this uh, strategy profile so l comma l can now happen with probability two third times four fifth because that's the way player two and player one can pick this strategy similarly if you look at uh, one then you are going to multiply two third and one fifth and similarly you finish up one third times four fifth and one third times one fifth and multiply them with the corresponding utilities this is the expected utility when player one is uh, playing uh, this particular strategy so uh, sigma one is given by two third and one third and sigma two is given by four fifth and one fifth similarly you can write down the utility for player two where uh, this this numbers will get replaced by the second entries here you can also talk about mixtures of uh, mixed strategies that uh, two uh, mixed strategies are being mixed uh, but then that will also give rise to a, a new uh, mixed strategy and this kind of a notion is uh, rarely used in practice but it is good to know uh, for your information 